if you're new to Chicago and you're trying to figure out what to do with the kids and how to go to museums and all the fun stuff without paying the full price, then I have a secret for you. memorable motherhood where I document and share with you my memories as a mom and a family of six. Well, let me take my head off. It's really cold out here. If you're trying to figure out how to do a lot of fun stuff with the kids, one of the great things that Chicago has are free museum passes for families of four. Um, they give you two adult tickets, two kid tickets. And so today I wanted to see if I could get the Museum of Science. If they don't have that, then I'll go for the African American History Pass. Right now we're at the Little Italy branch and already tried the West Loop one, but they didn't have it. Hopefully they'll have it here. Typically you can actually check online and see if the passes are available. I did that for West Loop, but it checked out right before we got there. Here's the library, and then we're gonna go in and see if we can check it out. Du sable, du sable, du sable, du sable. I want to look it up. African American History Museum. There it is, right there. The kids are more interested in picking flowers. Pretty early on in the museum visit, I realized that <laughs> this museum was not for them. They were scared of the elevator. Like we didn't get far, and they were already done with it. All right, so got my guy here. What is your review on the African American History Museum? For kids or not for kids, your age? Not for kids. <laughs> so for reference, he's six, he's five, she's three, and she's one. She doesn't really care about anything going on right now, except being pushed around. My review on it, it's a good museum. It's literally not for kids. Watch your stuff there. It's a nice museum. If you took your time, you could probably spend about 45 minutes, maybe an hour, maybe. We didn't go through the walkthrough exhibits just cause the kids. So we were in and out in like 25 minutes, max. The reason why I say not for kids, their ages. My oldest knows how to read, but he was not interested in reading little tiny cards. There was a lot of information there that was for mature audiences. That's my take on it. Worth going for adults to get informed, learn some more history, but not for kids, unfortunately. Thanks so much for watching, and I cannot wait to show you a new museum that we discovered in this beautiful city of Chicago.